Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to see how we can reverse the truck so that we can attach the trailer to the truck and once the trailer is attached, how to drive with a trailer attached. So first we are going to bring electricity to the truck, perform a safe start and then head out of the garage. Now our trailer is parked over there, as you can see, so the setup is important. We move to the front of the trailer and as much as possible try to put ourselves right in front of the trailer without hitting it of course. But sometimes it's not possible to do so, so you will have to come up uh, at an angle. So this is what I want to show here. Like this. So, as you can see, if I put the gears back to neutral, now as you can see, the trailer is visible in our left mirror. This means that, look outside, the trailer is in fact to the left of the truck but because the screen is still in front of us even if when we have a rear view you will find that when we will be reversing if we look outside instead of going in the direction that we want to do we will be going in the opposite direction let me demonstrate that now so if I look in the mirror I know that if I put the gear in reverse and I want to go to the left, I turn the wheel to the left, like this, isn't it? But if I peek out of the window, now as you can see, the trailer is to my right. So what I would be tempting to do is to turn the wheel to the right, isn't it? But as you can see, I'm going in the opposite direction now. So, when we have a forward view, we want to go left, we turn the wheel to the left and we effectively go left. But, when we look outside, because, like I said, our screen is, is still in front of us, but we are having a rear view, what we have to do, we have to reverse the direction. So, in this case, what do we see? On this image, I can see the trailer to the right of the truck. Even if it's actually to the left, on my screen, I'm seeing it to the right. So, when having that view, peeking out of the window, if I want to go to, in this case, to the right, between quotes, to the right, I turn the wheel to the left. And when doing so, turning the wheel to the left, then you will see that it's effectively going to the right of the screen but in fact it's still it's still going to the left that doesn't happen in real life it's because the front of the truck will always be in front your steering wheel will always be in front your head will be physically turned to look at the rear but in real life everything that is in front is still is in front but in a simulator unless you are using VR or you have a screen behind you when you switch to that view your screen will still be in front of you so I repeat when using the external view if you want to go in a direction you turn the wheel in the opposite direction when the trailer is not attached so let's do that again here on my screen I can see the trailer to my right even if in fact it is to the left so on screen it is on my right so to go to the trailer i will turn the wheel to the left when in this view okay and if i'm using the mirrors it's like in real life i want to go to the right i turn the wheel to the right and i want to go to the left i turn the wheel to the left so that little explanation was important because when we will be reversing a trailer in our next video you will see that it gets even more confusing 
So make sure you understand that part. Watch it again and again if needed. Then we can proceed with the actual reversing and attaching the trailer to the truck. So as you can see here, if you are going to use the mirrors, we look in the mirror and see in which mirror we are seeing the trailer. So here I'm seeing the trailer in the left mirror. It means that the trailer is to the left of the truck. So when we will be reversing, we want the kingpin to get caught into the fifth wheel because we are using advanced trailer coupling. So let me show you how the kingpin looks like and how the fifth wheel looks like. So this is our fifth wheel and as you can see there is some kind of slot and you want the kingpin to slide into that slot until it, get, it gets caught in what looks like a hole. As you can see here, in fact it's not a hole, it's where the kingpin will actually rest and there will be some kind of extension that will grab and lock the kingpin in place. Now let's have a look at the kingpin set. So here I'm actually under the trailer and that's what the kingpin looks like if you've never seen one in real life. So as you can see, maybe here, that's what is going to slide into the fifth wheel and once the extension gets triggered and locks the kingpin in place, it can call, be called a successful coupling but then you will still need to finish the coupling so we will see all that in a moment let's go ahead and couple the trailer with the truck so as we already saw the trailer is to my left so I need to move the truck to the left but in doing so I don't want to chase the edge of the trailer directly because looks at what happens if I do this if I'm chasing the edge of the trailer yeah I'm moving towards the trailer but I need to be aligned with the trailer which I'm not I'm not aligned so I switch to external view as you can see I'm not aligned that's why when reversing towards the trailer we don't want to go directly to where the edge of the trailer is but to the inside of the trailer a little bit like this so we want to go not to the edge but more or less the middle it depends on the angle and gradually as you approach you turn until you can see the rear tires of the truck you want to see equally in the left and right mirror as you can see here maybe I should be zooming I'm seeing more of the trailer in the left mirror that is I'm too much to the right I still need to turn a little bit more to the left so that's what we will be doing and as you approach the trailer you want to go slowly because in real life you don't want to kind of reverse by banging into the, the trailer so slowly okay you just heard it it made the sound when the extension gets triggered and locks the kingpin so let's put there's a shifter in neutral, set the parking brakes on and we're gonna have a look at the kingpin and fifth wheel. Now as you can see the kingpin got caught in the fifth wheel but the lines and the landing gear still need to be taken care of and if I bring this information window it says press the following key to finish trailer coupling by default it's T and I left it on default so to finish the coupling we're going to press T so we'll go ahead and press T and as you can see so 
actually in real life I will attach the lines first and then raise the landing gear but as you can see here raise the landing gear first and then attached the lines so anyway as long as both have been taken care of you can safely drive away now you have successfully coupled the trailer and the truck so let's get back inside the truck and now we'll see how to drive the truck now that we have a trailer attached to it one important thing you need to be aware of is something called off tracking so the best way i can explain this is by actually driving a little bit as you can see if i want to turn to the left my truck can make this turn easily isn't it but look at what's happening if i keep doing so as you can see my truck is fine but the trailer if i keep going the rear wheels will actually be driving over the curb it might even hit the wall it might hit a pole it might hit people that's what is called off tracking that is the rear wheels are not following the front it's super important you don't want to damage public property you don't want to hit vehicles you don't want to hurt people by doing so that's why it's very important to pay attention to the rear of your trailer now don't worry we're going to see how to reverse a trailer in the next video here it's just driving forward so how do i take care of off tracking by making the turn later that you will usually do so here if i drive a little bit more then turn as you can see i'm not driving over the curve so here we have a turn to our right if i turn immediately same thing will happen let's do that as you can see no problem the truck is making the turn i'm in my lane but if we go ahead and actually it's a test profile so let's go ahead and just see what happens boom that's what off tracking is my trailer hit the wall as you can see here that's because i did not continue to drive a little bit more forward then make the turn so let's see how to drive properly when we have a trailer attached so i'm gonna quickly reverse the trailer and then demonstrate how to properly make turns when a trailer is attached to our truck so we were in that position before so what we need to do if we still want to turn to the right we need to continue driving a little bit and practice and experience will tell you when you can make the turn and now as you can see i'm well beyond the point where i did the turn the first time so now i still have to pay attention to the left side of the wall and you remember in one of the videos i was talking about those reference points that's one situation where it's handy so now i know i know i can safely do that without hitting anything on my left because i know my reference point and now i want to keep an eye on the right mirror and as you can see there is enough space for me to make the turn without the trailer hitting the wall so with that taken care of and as you will see left turns are a little bit easier because you have more space like here i have more space so i can go a little bit like that then turn i know my reference points so no problem here continue to go a little bit more look at the trailer 
and there we go. And now we are going to take another right turn and you don't want to be turning immediately. You want to continue moving a little bit more and then make the turn of course. You have to take care of any incoming traffic when traffic will be activated and as you can see we made that turn without any problem. So let's turn right again into that car zone and we will try to maneuver inside without the rear of the trailer hitting anything without the wheels driving over any curve like here I go as much to the left as I can I know my reference points no problem here I keep an eye in the mirror absolutely no problem so here we're going to take a left turn now and like I said left turns are easier still we pretend that there is traffic clear no problem so I just need to go into the lane here and here you go this is how we drive with a trailer attached to the truck if you find my videos helpful please leave a like and subscribe to my channel this will be of great help and will encourage me to make even more videos to help you out. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.